So, looks like Ninja got a new stinger transition. Hey guys, what's up? It's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So we are moving back into the Stinger transition videos just real quick, because as the world knows by now, Ninja has switched over to Mixer. He is now streaming exclusively on Mixer, and with that jump to Mixer, he actually got a new Stinger transition, and it couldn't have come at a more awkward time because I just released the video on how to make his old stinger transition. If you haven't seen that, there will be a video link up in the corner there or down in the video description, um, and you can watch how to make his old transition. But now he's got a new one, and I've been getting a lot of requests from people down in the comments and on Twitter to make Ninja's new stinger transition from Mixer. So we're gonna be looking at that, and then I will also be providing a template for you guys at the end to download so you can have your own Ninja stinger transition. But I will only be providing the template if you get this video to 10 likes. So make sure you're going down there, liking the video, and then I'll release the template at 10 likes but I'm gonna show you how to use it anyway because I trust that you guys will get this video to 10 likes so without further ado let's take a look at ninja's new stinger transition here's what it looks like who do you love more your wife or me <laughs> Stop. wait so as you can see it's not really anything special it's just new and different and if we take a look here in after effects you will see that I have it created just like his shot for shot remake we can compare them side by side right here so as you can see, they're looking real good right side by side. So the one thing I'm changing between the two logos is that Ninja has a primary logo and then he has a secondary logo. His primary is the, the Ninja head that he uses for everything. That's his primary main Ninja logo. But then he has a secondary logo that he uses a lot, which is the two katanas that are crossed. And you'll see that when his goes to the yellow screen, he's got a bunch of katanas appearing around here. I didn't add those because not many people have a secondary logo and I'm not gonna add katanas or anything like that to this because your logo isn't katana so it's really just a blank yellow background if you wanted to add something if you knew how to operate after effects you could add something if you want but i left it blank because i just wanted it to work right out the box for everybody and not everybody has katanas as their logo so it's just a blank yellow solid at this point i think it still looks really good as a blank yellow solid and you can change it up if you would like but one thing that is cool about his transition is he does have this pattern going on and you'll see we recreated as close as we can to the pattern that he used it's a nice diamond pattern and I'm gonna show you also in the template how you can change that pattern to whatever you wanted so let's take a look at breaking down his transition here so if we go slowly you'll see all it is is these blue bars pop up from the center and reveal a yellow background and as the blue bars move to the side they close behind them and his logo kind of scales down in the center and then we would have the katanas on the side if we if we if we were ninja but you see it opens up yellow background logo fades down stops moving and then the exact same blue bars come in again to take out the yellow background that is all ninja's transition is it is a very simple stinger transition um, probably one of the easiest ones i have ever done to be honest but there it is looking really good and it's uh, really simple to make, but you guys don't have to worry about how to make it because once again, it is a template that you can download at the Mediafire link in the description only if you get this video to 10 likes. So get down there and like it, but let's take a look at how you use this template. So once again, download it down below, Mediafire link, you're gonna open it up and it's gonna look something like this. So when you open the template, you've got four compositions here that are open. You've got Final Render, color two slash pattern, color one, and your logo here. So we're gonna start with the color. So if you go to the color one tab here and you see you've got a yellow solid, there's nothing special about this. It's just a plain yellow solid. And if you go up to the effects controls, make sure you click on it, go up to effects controls. You'll see you've got a fill effect here with the color right here. If you click on the box, you can change it to whatever you want. So if we change it to a nice pink, hit okay. Go back to the final render. You'll see that background updates automatically. So in this color one, you can change the background to whatever Ever you want and it'll update for you but I'm gonna go ahead and take that back to the yellow because I want to leave it at ninjas color so now if we go to color two slash pattern we've got the same thing you'll see we've got a blue solid here and if we click on that go up to effects controls you've got the dark blue color that you can change to whatever you want so if we change it to a green you'll see that the whole pattern changes and if we go to final render here you'll see we now got a green pattern that moves across the screen instead of a dark blue one everything will auto update for you it's really awesome but if we go back, I'm going to go ahead and Command-Z that to change it back to Ninja's Dark Blue, because once again, we're keeping it at Ninja's 
colors. But one thing that is cool is that you can also change the pattern here. Now I chose a pattern that was very similar to what Ninja actually uses, this diamond pattern here. But you can just come over here to this Photoshop layer and either delete it or turn it off. And you can even bring in your own pattern if you wanted. But there are three patterns that are included with the template. So you've got the main one that'll already be in there. You've got the diamond one. But if we go back here into your project, go into assets, you'll see we've got ninja square pattern and also we've got ninja hex pattern. So if we take the square pattern and drop it on there, you'll see we've got this and you wanna to go to mode right next to it. You'll see there's a drop down that says normal under mode. If you do not have that, make sure you right click on just these columns up here and hit column and hit modes and then your modes will pop up. So right on this ninja square pattern, go to where it says normal under mode, or you can actually right click, I believe. Yeah, right click and go to blending mode and that's the same way you do it. But you're gonna to go to normal and change it to overlay. And you'll see that it overlays the pattern onto the blue. It keeps your color, whatever color you change it to. And if we go back to the final render, you'll see that the um, texture has auto or the pattern has auto updated inside of here. If we go back, go ahead and delete this one and then bring in the hex pattern and then change it to overlay as well. You'll see we get it overlaid on there. Go back to the final render and now we've got the hex pattern on here. So it's really awesome that you can change the um, pattern of the singer transition right here inside of the template. And you can actually download your own pattern from Google Images if you want. Just make sure that it is a black and white one. It'll change your colors and start to get a little crazy if it's not black and white. So as you see um, here, my templates are mostly white with just like a couple of black lines. That's what's gonna work the best and that's what's gonna not change your base color very much. If you try to overlay a pattern that has color in it, you're gonna notice that it's gonna change your base color down here. So make sure your patterns are looking something like this, kind of white with uh, just like a black design to it. So have fun, change the pattern, whatever you want, and then change the colors. And then finally, you just need to add your logo. So if you go over to the Your Logo Here tab, you'll see we've got the fake logo in here. You can just hide that or just delete it. And then you want to import and just bring in your logo. So you'll come over here into your project, you'll grab your logo, drag it in, and then you just want to rescale it. You might need to move it around to make sure that it's just kind of like this general size here just make sure it's not clipping out here make sure it just fits inside of here nice and good kind of just kind of like that size right there that would look pretty good and then you go into the final render and you'll see that it will add your logo into here and it'll scale down and move in just like the fake logo is here and just like ninjas does in his transition so change your pattern, change your colors, change your logo. I don't care. You'll get a really good looking logo and then it is time to export. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your endpoint is at the beginning. So make sure this little endpoint here, make sure it's at the beginning and then make sure that the out point is at the end of the transition. So right here at the end, you want to bring in your out point right there. So you can move it in just like that. They should already be set for you, but just make sure it's one at the beginning and one at the end, and then it is time to render. So go ahead and go up to composition, add to render queue, and then you've got it popping up right here in your render queue. So you wanna hit on lossless, and you wanna change this from AVI to QuickTime, and then you wanna change it from RGB right here to RGB plus alpha. The alpha means that it will have a transparent background behind it so that it can go over your footage, over your stream, and not have a black background. So QuickTime, RGB plus alpha, then hit OK. Then right where you're here where it says output to final render, you wanna click on that, and that's where you can name it whatever you want and save it wherever you want onto your computer. And once you've done that, then you just wanna hit render and it'll render through your transition and then you have it and you can plug it into OBS, do whatever you want with it, but you have got Ninja's new Stinger transition. And that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy using the template, but to be able to download the template, once again, make sure you're getting down there and liking the video, get this to 10 likes, and then I will post the link to the template so you can download it. But once again, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do make something as always with my template, templates or using the knowledge you've learned from my videos, make sure you send it to me on Twitter. I love seeing that my videos have helped people, but I hope you enjoyed the new Ninja template. A lot of people have been requesting it. So here it is. Use it. Do whatever you want with it. Copy Ninja. Don't copy Ninja. Take it. Mess with it. Do whatever you want. Just send it to me on Twitter at BravityM. But I hope you enjoyed the video one more time. Said that a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.